Hi, I'm Jessica Garner. I work at Georgia Southern University and I'm from Statesboro. Today I chose to read um, Judy Bloom's Blubber because I was an overweight child, so this book really touched my life. I'm going to start with chapter 11. I just can't believe my class would do such a thing. School isn't as boring as it used to be. Wendy and Carolyn made copies of their How to Have Fun with Blubber list, and on Monday morning, they passed them out. We made Linda say, I am Blubber, the smelly well of class 206. We made her say it before she could use the toilet in the girls' room, before she could get a drink at the fountain, before she ate her lunch, and before she got on the bus to go home. It was easy to get her to do it. I think she would have done anything we said. There are some people who just make you want to see how far you can go. Two days later, she was saying, I am Blubber, the smelly class of the, the smelly well of class 206 without anyone forcing her to. She said it before she got a drink at the fountain, before she went to the toilet, before she got on and off the bus and during lunch. She said it before she started to eat. Very good, Wendy told her. For that, you get a reward. You get to kiss Bruce Bonaventure. Bruce wasn't all that willing to get kissed, which is why Robbie and Irwin had to chase him around the, the room, then hold him down while Wendy and Carolyn dragged Linda over to him. Bruce said, if she touches my lips, I'll spit on her, so help me, I will. So we had to settle for Linda kissing Bruce on the cheek. If you ask me, she enjoyed it. So we ha on Thursday, we made Linda show the boys her underpants. She wasn't anxious to do that, so Carolyn had to hold her hands behind her back while Wendy lifted her skirt. Erwin found some names for Linda in the Random House Dictionary, which Miss Minish keeps in her corner on its own table. He's really good at looking things up. He can tell you exactly on which page certain words are found. We called Linda Flubsy, Carnivore, and Bestial. I didn't recognize any of them, but they all sounded good.